Hey y'all, it's your girl Kia Love. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, a welcome. So today I'm going to be hitting y'all with another what I eat in a day. Um, actually, I was about to go to the grocery store because y'all, my fridge is empty. I need to re-up. But I don't know if you like me, but before I go to the store, I have to eat or else I'm going to buy the entire store. Are you like that or is it just me? <laughs> Well, drop it in the comments below y'all talk to me are you like that i have to eat something so i was actually wanting something a little more for breakfast but because i really don't want to hold up the day i'm just going to do something simple which i haven't done in a while actually i don't think i've done it at all on youtube on what i eat in a day but i'm going to have some cereal and no i don't mean cinnamon toast crunch and fruit oops and frosted flakes and all those delicious <laughs> cereals no y'all i'm gonna keep it Plant Bay is going to keep it healthier. And I'm going to take my granola. If you haven't, I do make my own granola. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it in the description box below, y'all. It's a game changer because, you know, granola can be kind of expensive. So if you want to make your own, it's super easy. You won't go back. It's super easy, y'all. It's a very basic recipe. You can switch it up, do whatever you want to do with it. But it's actually really good as cereal. So I'm going to eat that. And I have a banana that I need to eat. Hopefully it's good when I open it. If you don't know. Um, don't always judge a banana by its cover because when it turns like starts turning brown and spotted and black, it's actually really ripe. And it's better for your body to eat ripe bananas and not the green starchy bananas, even though I know a lot of us prefer those. But um, this is a Thai banana in case y'all are one. Is this a Thai banana or was this a dough banana? Y'all going all off track, but let me talk to you for a little bit because I don't hardly talk to y'all in this video. So uh, let me talk to y'all for a little bit. Um, so I actually prefer Thai bananas, which are the small flatter bananas. So that's what I think this one was. And yeah, they're good. They actually taste different than the regular bananas. The not, not the small dough bananas, which I think this one might be a small dough banana. Oh no, no, it's a Thai banana. Not those baby dough bananas. No, those are still, you know, but these Thai bananas. I like the flat ones, the flat or Caribbean bananas. Those are better. So they taste different. They have a more fruitier taste for those of us that aren't huge banana fans. But hey, bananas come in handy when you're trying to eat healthy and it's a good pre-workout. It's honestly, to me, one of the best pre-workout things to eat. But anyways, let me, let me stop rambling, y'all. This is why I just get straight to the point. <laughs> so anyways, I'm about to make some cereal with this granola and... Put a banana on it. And I'm going to use some almond milk because, not almond milk. I prefer to use almond milk with my cereal. But I have this oat milk that I need to use. So, oh, I have this oat milk that I need to use. Because I noticed that the oat milk goes bad faster than the almond milk. So, I'm actually going to use oat milk today. So, yes, y'all. And y'all, I drank me a little shot. Also, another thing, y'all, I made some shots this week. So, I bought these bottles, right? To make some shots for the week and I have not done it and then this past week I decided let me go ahead and I had some ingredients I needed to use up so I was like let me turn them into shots y'all and I've been loving it I've been easily just grabbing a shot and starting my day off with this uh, this is one more I actually took my shot already for the day so anyways all right let's go ahead and get to the cereal and then after I do this cereal I'm gonna come back to y'all a little later when it's time for me to eat dinner all right Hearts. That's my 
Mm. Yeah, I gotta try the cereal. I'm actually gonna add a little more milk, y'all, because I'm a little, I'm a milk, I like to add more milk, but y'all gotta try the cereal. Hey y'all, I'm back. <laughs> y'all, I'm tired, so um, I'm just being silly, but it's been a few hours. It's actually coming up on 6.30. I typically try to eat dinner before seven, but today I had a lot to do and it's just it's just not gonna be done before seven o'clock. So yeah, so I went to the store, I got groceries, I got food in my fridge. Now, I, I don't know what it is about having food in the fridge, but I feel like I can do anything now. <laughs> And then also, I ran a couple more errands. I washed some clothes. I folded some clothes. Now, let's talk about folding the clothes. Washing the clothes is the easy part. It's the folding the clothes. That is just, let me say, something I definitely need to work on in life. Um, <laughs> it's an area of my life I really need to work on. But, y'all, I did it. I folded some clothes. I still got, like, two baskets left. And I'm determined to fold those today before I go to sleep or I'll feel like it's all been a waste. But yeah, so so yeah, I've been very productive today. I am a little tired. But let me show you my fridge, y'all, because I should have showed you before I went to the store. So y'all can actually see the difference. So let me let me throw them around. Look, y'all. So I got some food now. I got some food, y'all. I got me some berries. Yup, yup, y'all. I got me some papaya, some tomatoes, a lot of peppers. I got some stuff going on. I got some stuff going on. You know what I'm saying? I'm ready for the week. I am ready. I got some limes down here. Got some limes, some carrots, some celery, my San Pellegrino. Got some lemons back there for my lemon water. Y'all, I got this hummus. I'm going to try this one. I haven't had this brand before, but we're going to see. We're going to see what it's like. I got my fennel, y'all. Y'all know I like some fennel. And you know what? I wanted to show y'all two things. So let me turn this off. All oh, my herbs. Okay, if y'all ever, I don't know about y'all. I don't know about y'all, but when I come back from the store, it takes me a good hour to get everything put in its proper place because I buy a lot of produce and I take the time to clean it and stuff like that, except for the berries because I've learned that it's just best not to wash the berries until you're ready to eat them. But... It takes me a good hour to just get everything put up and in its place. And for the herbs, I just, everything, not just the herbs, but because it takes me a minute to get everything in place, one of the things I do is I make sure I store it properly so it lasts as long as it can. So, for example, I have some cilantro here. If you are interested in wanting to know what I do to prep, if you're interested to know, what I do to prep and, uh, prep and store, how I prep and store my produce to make it last as long as it can. Let me know and I'll do a video like that, y'all. It's been a game changer. Like, my herbs last for a good three weeks. Um, my green onions last for, yeah, a good three weeks. My celery lasts for a good month. My carrots last for a good month. So, if that's something you're interested in, drop it in the comments below. I'll do that for y'all. But what I, else? I wanted to show y'all two things. So... I always get excited when I pick up new stuff. So I picked up this. It was near the kefir section. It's Forager Organic Probiotic Probiotic Cashew Milk Yogurt Vanilla Bean. I don't know if it's just going to be like the regular yogurt or if it's supposed to be more like kefir, but I'm excited to try this. I'm excited to try this. Um, I do like Forager Yogurt. I think I have a video on it because it was one of my favorite. It was the best yogurt, uh, plant-based yogurt that I had at the time. I also have some of this, some more of... Y'all seen this before. It's one of my favorite yogurts. And then another thing I wanted to show y'all is this. This thing called Remedy Matcha Fuel Remedy. It is a vegan, non-GMO, gluten-free, 100% plant-based. This one has, it's, it's called Matcha Fuel. It has almond milk, Japanese matcha, maca, spirulina, turmeric, and prebiotics. This is so good. Hold on, y'all. My alarm's going off. All right, my bad, y'all. So... All right, my bad, y'all, but this is so good. I love to drink this after my workouts. It's like a post-workout. 
So if y'all see that, try it out. Let me know what you think. I also tried, I'm going to try this Super Chai Fuel. I haven't had this one before, but I like chai, so I'm assuming I'm going to like it. Oh, I'm going to... I almost dropped it. I'm assuming I'm going to like it. It has almond milk, hemp seeds, maca, cardamom, and prebiotics. Like I said, it's vegan. It's really good. Um, I love to drink it after my workouts. It's also like a good morning drink. Like if you want it, if you're like a frappuccino type of person, it's not a frappuccino. Um, but if you want something like that, it's, it will be a good morning pick me up drink, a good um, uh, post workout. I like to do it as a post workout, but it's really good. So now it's time to make dinner. Oh, and y'all, what else I bought? So I got some juicing I need to do. I bought this big old bag, this humongous bag. Uh, oh, it's heavy. Is it five pounds? It's a 10 pound bag. Oh, God. Uh, okay. Your girl is getting strong, y'all. So I picked up this 10 pound bag, 10 pound bag of grapefruit. So I'm going to juice it and make some grapefruit juice. Y'all, if you like grapefruit juice or if you like oranges and orange juice, I bought a bag of oranges too. I think that was, I think I showed y'all that. I got some oranges in the refrigerator as well and a bunch of apples. Yeah. I got some oranges here. I bought a bag of oranges. I think this was like a five pound bag. But man, when I first tried fresh pressed orange juice, never went back to store bought orange juice again, ever. So y'all, I'm telling you, like, nature does not need any help. Nature does not need any help or when I say when I'm gonna say any help meaning like we don't need to fortify oranges we don't need to do any of that we don't need to manufacture it and all that stuff get you some oranges I promise you when you press them they are much much better than let's say if you eat an orange and you're like oh it's not that sweet but for some reason when you juice it it's even more sweeter and I think because when you juice fruit it breaks down the sugar and it tastes a little sweeter but Make some fresh pressed orange juice. Make some fresh pressed grapefruit. I'm not even the biggest grapefruit fan, but I like to switch it up sometimes. So, but anyway, it's not. So, y'all, <laughs> I be rambling. That's why I'm like, this is a what I eat in a day. So, let me get to what I'm going to be eating for dinner. So, I just took some sweet potatoes out the oven. I'm going to mash these up. If you want to know how to make the perfect sweet potato, you can check that out. I'll put the video on the link below. There are a few key tips on how to make the perfect sweet potato that I use. And then also I'm going to be making another batch of mac and cheese. So I'm going to put that together really quick. I also have a recipe of that linked below. And then, oh, that's what I wanted to show y'all, y'all. I don't know what I was thinking, but I decided about some okra. I don't know why I was in the store. I saw this okra and <laughs> I have never had okra. First of all, let me just say this. I have never cooked okra before in my life. I've never cooked okra. The only time I ever had okra was back in high school when I would go to Golden Chick and get their fried okra, which was okay. And then the Tabitha Brown's okra. Let me see if I still got some left because I've been trying to make it last because her stuff be hard to come by. But... One of the Tabitha Brown products I got was this vegan garlic pickle okra, y'all. And I was pleasantly surprised by it. I really like it. Um, that video, I'll drop that review down below so you can see all the products that I tried with hers. But, spoiler alert, I like the okra. And I was wanting something crunchy like that. So, when I came across this okra at the store, I was like, ooh, let me get some okra. But now that it's here, I don't know what to do with it, y'all. I don't know what to do. Y'all, if you know how to cook okra, like, I don't want nothing slimy. I remember hearing people say, oh, I don't like okra. It's slimy. Is this, is that. I don't want no slimy okra. So, I already know I don't want to boil it because I think when you boil it, it turns slimy. I have never cooked okra. I don't know what I'm going to do with it now that it's here. <laughs> y'all, give me some tips, y'all. I know somebody from the South know how to make some okra. Please tell your girl how I can make this okra taste good. I'm going to be so mad if I cook this and it don't turn out right. So while I think about how I'm going to cook this okra, I'm going to go ahead and hook up this mac, mac and cheese. I don't know if I said this already, but when I make mac and cheese, I make a batch of it and then I freeze it in single servings. It's time for me to make a batch of it, so I'm going to make some and then eat some today with my meal. If you want to check out my mac and cheese recipe, the link is in the description box below. But let me say this. Let me say this. I am a southern 
baked mac and cheese girl. I have never liked Kraft or Velveeta or anything like that. I've always been a southern, you know, baked mac and cheese girl. But my goal with this vegan mac and cheese was to make it as southern baked as I can, but using plants, using plants as the cheese sauce. Um, I don't know if y'all have seen people make vegan mac and cheese. I have. And most of the time, uh, the people, the, the mac and cheese that actually look good is using some type of roux with flour and butter and uh, maybe veggie broth. Flour, butter, veggie broth, and that's it's like that's the cheese sauce, and then they put on vegan shredded cheese, and it looks really good. But I did not want that. Like I really wanted to use plants as a cheese sauce, so I ch I had to find like a middle of uh, it's it's baked. I try to make a southern style, but I really wanted to focus on the quality of the cheese sauce as far as like the quality of the ingredients. I really wanted to be plant based. A very good dairy-free plant-based cheese sauce so if that sounds like something you're into where you're like yes I want like a quality as far as ingredients as far as the type of ingredients that I'm using if you're the type of person where you really want to eat more plants and you really want it to you rather have a, a plant cheese sauce rather than flour and butter and a roux like that check out my vegan mac and cheese y'all I like it I think you'll like it too. give it a chance a taste um, I, I am going to add this a vegan shredded cheese on top I have some uh some some Daya mozzarella and cheddar I haven't used the mozzarella from Daya yet and but we'll see what it's gonna taste like I feel like mixing up the cheese today so I have my cheese sauce I have my shredded cheese I'm gonna pop that in the oven and then I will get back to y'all when it's time to hook up this okra but please for real I'm for real like if any of y'all know how to make okra and make it taste good let me know for real i'm not I'm, I'm kidding i'm not kidding i'm serious like let your girl know okay another thing about the mac and cheese y'all when i first posted my mac and cheese recipe that was like two years ago i don't know if i ever said this before but that was like two years ago and that was when i first started my channel and i had posted just a few videos on there and then i went through one of the worst times of my life I stopped posting for almost two years and then just started posting again maybe six months ago consistently so I'm saying that to say that there are a couple of things that I switched up in my cheese sauce just a couple um so I don't know if y'all want to update let me know about that but y'all can make the one that's posted and it's still good it's just slight changes like for example I think in my original video I used a veggie broth but now I prefer to use water over veggie broth under, you know along with the other ingredients that I have and then also I like to add a little bit of olive juice like the, if you buy a can of olives not Kalamata olives the green olives if you buy like a jar a, a jar of green olives I like to pour a little bit of that juice in there and maybe a couple of olives something about it gives it a really like sharp sharp cheddar taste to it or, or whatever and then I also added a little just a splash of nutmeg I don't know what it is but I like it like that so, like I said, you can check out my mac and cheese recipe. Let me know what you think about it. Like I said, it's for people that really care about eating more plants and really want a cheese sauce that's more on the healthier side rather than eating a bunch of flour, butter, and all that stuff. So, all right, y'all. I'm in Randall Land. So, let me go ahead and get to this dinner. All right? Baby, you don't know what you do to me Between me and you, I feel like chemistry I won't let no one come and take your place Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced So no one else knows what you do That's why I don't mind, I don't spend my life with you I won't please you in any way I can I won't share my world, don't you understand? Plotting on the low, scheming on the low. The furthest thing from perfect, like everyone I know. I just been drinking on the low, mobbing on the low, smoking on the low. I still been plotting on the low, scheming on the low. The furthest thing from perfect, like everyone I know. I just been drinking on the low, mobbing on the low, smoking on the low. Smoking on the low, I still been plotting on the low, scheming on the low. The furthest 
stay from perfect like everyone I know I just been All right, y'all, so, oh, yeah, what I wanted to say earlier that I forgot to say was that I told you I started my YouTube channel two years ago. I fell all the way off. I literally posted, like, a few videos, like, a handful of videos, and then I stopped because I really went through, like, one of the worst years of my life and came back, like, a year and a half later, just started posting maybe six months ago. Um, and being consistent with it since then. So I just want to say thank you to those of you that's been watching my videos and finding them helpful. Um, but anyway, so I, after I made the sweet potatoes, the mashed sweet potatoes, I have like 10 minutes left on my mac and cheese. I quickly found a video on YouTube from a channel called Caribbean Pot. I've never seen that channel before. I'm just trying to figure out how to make this okra and I really want to pan fry it because I'm thinking about Brussels sprouts. My favorite way to make Brussels sprouts is on top of the stove. I have a recipe for that as well if you want to check it out in the link below. So I kind of want to do it like that, but I'm not sure how it's going to turn out. So I wanted to find a video that did it and I found, I literally just clicked on one video. It was by a Caribbean channel called Caribbean Pot. And I noticed they said that the trick to making sure your Brussels, not Brussels sprout, that your okra is not slimy is to let it sit out in the sun and dry. So you rock, you wash it off, you chop it up, you put it on a pan, and you put it out in the sun for like three hours. It's almost nighttime here. It's getting dusk. It's getting dusky. <laughs> it's getting dusk. It's a little bit after seven o'clock and um, it's cold outside. <laughs> it's like, is it 50 something degrees today? Yeah, I think the low is 32 and the high was 60. So it's cold outside. So not going to do that. So hopefully mine doesn't turn out slimy. I just dried it off with a towel. I don't know if that's going to be good enough. I thought about putting it in the oven, but I don't want to dry it out. So I'm going to have to try that another time. We're just going to wing it. You know, I just wanted to give a shout out to that channel that I heard that tip from. So it's called Caribbean Pot. So we're just going to make it do what it do. Y'all, let's just cross our fingers and hope this works out. Okay. <laughs> So now I'm just throwing in a little bit of chopped garlic so we can go ahead and get that browned up a little bit. So now I'm just spraying that same pan with a little nonstick oil and then I'm gonna throw back in the sauteed onion and garlic and now it's time to try out this okra y'all. I hope this turns out good. I'm gonna throw in a little bit of vegan butter. If you want that recipe, it's linked below. Y'all, it's super easy, really delicious. I just make a big batch, freeze it, and use it as I need it. Super simple. Now I'm just seasoning it up a little bit, adding a little bit of sea salt. And a few drops of coconut aminos. All 
I really want to make sure this is not slimy. So to dry it out a little bit, I'm going to cook it with the lid on. I'm not going to lie, y'all. I'm getting a little nervous because as I'm cooking this okra, I'm still seeing some slime. I was hoping me putting the top on it would um, cut some of that slime out. But I don't know. Let's see. See, like, look at this slime here. I don't know if you can see it up close, but let me see. Like, when I separate the two, there goes some slime. There goes some slime. I don't know, y'all. I'm getting a little nervous. I'm trying to char it out. I'm trying to dry it out and char it out, but I don't want it to burn either, so we're going to see. I'm going to go ahead and um, sprinkle some lemon juice on it just because... And like I said, uh, another tip the Caribbean pot person said was to make sure you don't have a lot of moisture going on. So I'm just going to go ahead and pour the lemon now while I can. I'm probably going to zest some lemon. Um, zest the lemon as well to add more lemon flavor. But I'm going to cover this up and keep trying to dry it out and cook it as long as I can without burning it. Y'all, don't sleep on my mac and cheese. Look at how cheesy and ooey gooey this is, y'all. I'm telling you, don't sleep on it. If you don't want to add the shredded cheese, you don't have to. But my cheese sauce, like I said, is 100% plant-based. I don't think y'all would be disappointed. And it freezes very well. It's still just as cheesy and ooey gooey. I'm trying to save some of these sweet potatoes as leftovers, so I'm just going to put a little on the plate for now. So I decided to add some fresh sliced tomatoes. Y'all, I know you've heard me say this before, but I love fresh tomatoes with a little bit of salt. So I'm just slicing up a tomato, sprinkling a little bit of Hawaiian black salt. And that's what you see me doing here. Just tomato, salt, tomato, salt. Y'all, they are so satisfying. I just love them. So you know what? That's what we're doing. Okay. And I love to have something fresh with my food if I can. So that's what we're doing, y'all. Some fresh raw tomatoes. And now I'm just going to crack some black pepper over this mac and cheese. Sometimes I like to add some more paprika, but today I'm just going to keep it simple. And there we have it, y'all. Look at my soul bowl. All right, y'all. It's the moment of truth. We're going to see what this okra is tasting like. I know y'all probably like, girl, what you going to do with them tomatoes? But if y'all don't know, I love fresh tomatoes. And I feel like my plate needed something fresh. And typically what I like to do with the tomatoes is the black salt that I use with the Hawaiian black salt, not the Kalanamic black salt that we put on, you know, vegan eggs to make them eggy. This is Hawaiian black salt. So I usually like to let it sit for 20 minutes before, 20 to 30 minutes before I eat it, um, the tomatoes. But I ain't got time for that today. What I'm really interested in is seeing what this okra like. What that okra do. What that okra do. What the okra be like. <laughs> Not for real, y'all. Let me see. All right, it's moment of truth. Let me show you my plate one more time in case you forgot what it looked like. Okay, this is what the plate is looking like, y'all. We're going to go ahead and try this okra. Hold on, let me say my prayers. Hold on, y'all. I got to say my prayers. All right, so let's go ahead and try this. I'm going to try this okra. See what this okra tastes like, y'all. I'm so scared. All right, let's do this. Mmm, it's actually... Hold on, let me try another one. 
You know what, y'all? I'm pleasantly surprised. It has slight slimy taste, but not nowhere near as bad as I thought it was going to be. So, this is actually pretty good. This is actually really, really good. So, mm-hmm. Y'all, this soul bowl is doing what it needs to do. I call it a soul bowl because it gives me soul food vibes. Now, if I put something else in the bowl, I usually call it like a fit bowl or something like that. Fresh and fit or something like that. But the soul bowl is doing what it needs to do. And I, okra is, is really good. I don't know if it's going to be worth the effort to sit it in the sun for three hours. Like the, the tip said. But maybe I'll try it. But seriously, y'all, if, if, if one of y'all... It's good with okra. Y'all familiar with okra and you have a good recipe? Let me know. Drop it off. Drop it off in the comments below. Hook your girl up because I really am not familiar with working with okra. So, <laughs> for real, if y'all got like a recipe y'all can hit your girl up with, let me know, y'all. Come on, let's share the love. Let's share the love. But anyways, y'all, I hope y'all enjoyed this what I ate in a day. I know I chopped it up with y'all. I usually don't do that, but... If you like this type of video, if you prefer that I chop it up with you a little bit more and want me to make more what I eat in days in this type of format, just let me know and I'll start to make more like this and maybe I'll get straight to the point on the recipe videos. Because usually I get straight to the point on the what I eat in a day videos, but today I just feel like chopping it up with y'all a little bit. So if you enjoyed that, if you enjoyed that, let me know. I'll start to do more what I, what I eat in a days like in this format chopping it up with y'all a little bit but anyways y'all hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up if you'd like to be notified whenever i post hit that bell icon and the subscribe button and also hit me up follow me on instagram hit me up y'all but until next time it's your girl kia love peace and love